New tonight, health officials say the founder of Q Magazine died of meningitis after going to several short north businesses over the Labor Day weekend. Now a local meningitis survivor is speaking out and she wants people to know how they can prevent this deadly disease. Fox 28's Jen French has her story. We're just thankful every birthday they have. We're just thankful that they're here. Samantha Bennett is a typical mom. Yeah, no, pick up the ball. Married with two kids, she paints for a living. With sports or anything else when I was growing up, I struggled with, you know, keeping up with everybody else. But art was something that I actually stood out and I excelled. And she does it while missing several fingers. I had bacterial meningitis when I was nine months old. When she heard a Pittsburgh man lost his life to the disease after he visited the short north, she wanted to get the word out. Um, a lot of people don't survive or, you know, you don't hear about it as often. I think the important thing for a lot of people to know now is that there is a vaccine out there. She spent much of her youth Everything undergoing reconstructive that. surgery. Um, I had about 25 surgeries throughout my life to correct the damages from the meningitis. The disease has left its mark. I get it now. I know why I went through what I went through with meningitis. It was because I needed to be able to help people and I needed to have that strength to, to cope with a loss of my own. Because at one time, painting was how she mourned a miscarriage. And then when the baby didn't make it, I had to like somehow figure out a way for me to go back into my studio and start painting again. The mom of two hopes her story of survival. Their people's lives could be saved if people were vaccinated by it. Fix it. Can spare someone's life. In Gahanna, Jen French, Fox 28 News. And anyone who had close contact with the man who lost his life to meningitis, 29-year-old Joe Christopher Checkney, is advised to go to the emergency room or to contact the Columbus Public Health Department. That disease can be spread by sharing a glass or eating utensil, coughing or sneezing into the face of another person. Symptoms include high fever, stiff neck, rash, and fatigue.